Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update December 27th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 326. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, the Yin Yang Master Dream of Eternity starring Mark Chow and Deng Lun premieres. And the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, a happy belated Boxing Day to everyone. May your heart be filled with joy and your week be filled with fantastic deals. I remember Boxing Day every year because I am a Boxing Day baby. That's right, every year my 18th birthday falls on Boxing Day. Anyway, on with the show, here's what's recently premiered. The Message is a Republican era drama starring Xu Lu and Janice Mann and it premiered on December 24th. It follows a group of suspects who are trapped in a mansion as the Japanese spy chief questions and tortures them to find out who among them is a Chinese code breaker. The drama is based on the 2009 film of the same name with an all-star cast of Li Bingbing, Zhou Xun and Huang Xiaoming. The drama comes with a bit of controversy. One of the male lead characters, in fact I believe the first male lead character, was played by Zhao Lixing. But Zhao Lixing made some online comments that were deemed quote harmful to politics unquote and he was subsequently cancelled. His face was replaced by Zhou Yiwei's using deepfake technology. I'm not a fan of cancel culture and I think this whole face replacement thing is really unfortunate for all parties involved. But I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. It isn't the first time it's happened, probably won't be the last. The message is slated for 38 episodes and is available on Tencent, no English subs at the moment. The Yin Yang Master Dream of Eternity is a costume fantasy movie starring Mark Chow and Deng Lun and it premiered on December 25th. The movie is based on the Japanese novel series Onmyoji by Baku Yumemakura. It was previously only known by its Chinese title, Chinyati, but now has an official English title. Set in a mystical fantasy world where humans and supernatural beings coexist, the movie follows a yin yang master played by Mark Chow and his friend played by Deng Lun as they are summoned to the capital to slay a serpent demon. In their perilous adventure, the pair also uncover a century old secret and save humanity. So the highly anticipated movie has hit theaters in China. It won't hit the rest of the world until February 5th. That's only about 5 weeks away. Additionally, Netflix has picked it up and will also release it on February 5th, so it will be made available to a wider audience. Those of us who've been wanting to watch it but can't because we're not in China, worry not, it's coming online soon. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here's Heroes. Heroes is an upcoming costume drama starring Joseph Zheng and Yang Chaoyue and they started filming mid last month. Here's a nice group picture taken at the studio during the booting ceremony. Production recently released a video to introduce the characters. The drama follows Joseph Zheng's character, the kind-hearted and young Wang Xiaoshi, and his adventures in the pugilistic world as he matures into a seasoned martial hero. Along the way, he meets like-minded figures like Wen Rou played by Yang Chaoyue, Bai Chou-fei played by Liu Yining, and Su Mengzhen played by Baron Chen. Remember how in the last episode we talked about wuxia dramas? Well, this looks like one of those pure wuxia dramas with martial heroes and the pugilistic world. Joseph Zheng got a huge boost in popularity last year after he did a remake of the wuxia classic Heavenly Sword Dragon Slaying Saber in which he played the iconic Zhang Wuqi. He also stars in the currently airing Ultimate Note and that has been doing well on viewing charts. I will give more updates on heroes as they provide them. Up next is Chasing the Light. Chasing the Light is an upcoming modern drama starring Fan Changcheng and Wang Anyu and in late November they released their first posters. Fan Changcheng plays Jiang Cheng, a once exemplary student who develops a rebellious streak when his foster family abandons him, forcing him to move in with his biological father who is a degenerate gambler. 
He meets Gu Fei, a rough around the edges type character, played by Wang Anyu, and they develop a close friendship and help each other grow and heal. Sounds like there are some heavy themes in this drama that's adapted from the boys' love novel, Sha Ye. Fan Cheng Cheng is of course Fan Bingbing's little brother, and he has the upcoming fantasy drama Spirit Realm awaiting release. Wang Anyu first hit the drama scene with last year's Dreaming Back to the Qing Dynasty with Landy Li. Chasing the Light is slated for 21 episodes and will be released on Tencent. More updates on it as they provide them. And on that note, it's Sunday today, so it's time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas and Actors at the Moment, Edition 52, December 27, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai, and we begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Youku, Aichii, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, The Wolf, the costume drama stars Darren Wang and Li Qing. Number 9, A Love So Romantic, the costume drama stars Yang Zhiwen and Ye Shengjia. Number 8, The Burning River, the modern drama stars Angel Jiang and Zhou Yu. Number 7, Forever Love, the modern drama stars Wang Anyu and Xiang Hanzhi. Number 6, You Complete Me, the modern drama stars Hu Yitian and Bridget Chow. Number 5, The Confidence, the modern drama stars Elvira Chai and Liu Kai. Number 4, To Love, the modern drama stars Kenny Lin and Gai Yuexi. Number 3, The Penalty Zone, the modern drama stars Oh Hao and Liu Xiaojie. Number 2, Legend of Fei, the costume drama stars Zhao Liying and Wang Yibo. And number 1, Ultimate Note, the modern drama stars Joseph Zheng and Xiao Yuliang. So Legend of Fei does not retain its top spot from last week. It is displaced by the adventure drama Ultimate Note. Adventure dramas do have a history of doing well on web drama charts. I remember Zhu Yilong's reunion Sound of the Providence doing really well not too long ago. Also, just on a side note, I recently finished watching The Wolf, and I thought the main cast did a terrific job, particularly Darren Wang. I thought he and Xiao Zhan's characters were the two standout ones. So that leaves Legend of Fate the only drama I'm following right now, but I will pick up another. I will most likely check out Like a Flowing River too. And on Legend of Fei, I am thoroughly enjoying the drama at the moment, and it's got great fight scenes. But I gotta say, those enemy archers must be some of the lousiest in the land. I'm talking about missing the target from literally 3 feet away. Anyway, here now are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, The Story of Minglan, the costume drama stars Xiao Liying and Feng Shaofeng. Number 9, The Centimeter of Love, the modern drama stars Tong Liya and Tong Dawei. Number 8, Fate, the modern drama stars Lu Yi and Li Yitong. Number 7, The Message, the Republican era drama stars Xu Lu and Janice Mann. Number 6, Invisible Life, the modern drama stars Hawik Lao and Chen Duling. Number 5, Dear Missy, the modern drama stars Li Yitong and Gina Jin. Number 4, Healer of Children, the modern drama stars Cheng Xiao and Olivia Wang. Number 3, Roving Inspection Team, the modern drama stars Yu He Wei and Cecilia Han. Number 2, Like a Flowing River 2, the retro drama stars Wang Kai and Yang Shuo. And number 1, Qin Dynasty Epic, the costume drama stars Edward Zhang and Duan Yihong. So they've dropped the part 1 from the title and simply called it Qin Dynasty Epic. Makes sense? And how odd is it that enough folks are watching reruns of The Story of Minglan on TV that it's made the top 10? In any case, here now are the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Gina Jin. She stars in Dear Missy with Li Yitong. Number 9, Li Qing. She stars in The Wolf with Darren Wang and Xiao Zhan. Number 8, Peng Guanying. He stars in The Confidence with Elvira Chai and Liu Kai. Number 7, Li Yitong. She stars in Dear Missy with Gina Jin. Number 6, Joseph Zheng. He stars in Ultimate Note with Xiao Yuliang. 
Number 5, Wang Kai. He stars in Like a Flowing River 2 with Yang Shuo. Number 4, Zhu Yilong. He stars in To Dear Myself with Cecilia Liu. Number 3, Xiao Zhan. He stars in The Wolf with Darren Wang and Li Qing. Number 2, Zhao Liying. She stars in Legend of Fei with Wang Yibo. And number 1, Wang Yibo. He stars in Legend of Fei with Zhao Liying. Wang Yibo retains his champion's crown. That makes it two weeks in a row now. And that makes it a failing grade for me for the predictions I did on Thursday on who today's winners would be. I only got one out of three. I got Wang Yibo as the top drama actor, correct? But I predicted Legend of Fei would be the top web drama and Like a Flowing River would be the top TV drama. How did you guys do? Better than me, I hope. So there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what drama is hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas and actors perform. And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.